I wish I could say that she stopped, that I stopped going down the path of darkness after the assault, that I immediately ran to God for my redemption. But it's not true. I floundered in my faith for years because I believed that if God cared about me and my purity, he wouldn't have allowed me to go where I did. I chose from that point to identify with these shadows. And I wondered how, if ever, there would be a new start for someone like me. Remember, I was already a believer. I knew the things of God. I knew his ways and his character. But I identified with the lie. Would I turn into her every so often like some carnal zombie? Or would I shake her loose only after she had stolen everything from me? And then there was this one night in my home. I was mulling over my next poor decision, justifying it in my mind. And I was met by the heart of God. A personal deliverance in the middle of my living room. There was no music, no altar call, no sermon. I just asked him to help me. And from what I can describe as a wave of conviction and encouragement and sadness and wholeness, that overwhelmed my spirit and I cried like a baby because I knew that God had seen me dying and he rescued me from the pit of despair. And then I knew I would never go back. I would not stay there. My life is living proof that you are never too far from God to rescue. You don't have to go back. You don't have to stay where you are. God sees you and he knows your religious anxiety. If you're ready to go on this journey with me, I want you to let me know that you give it up. You type it, you say it. I give up my anxiety, my brokenness, my past. And I give it to the one and only true God, the most high God, the God of the Bible. And then you grab your plunger and you get ready to fight her off. <laughs> 